baby thing. See, these are my eyes. Yeah. Oh, you got your right anything down here. And two days ago, the maintenance man, who's a gem, he's from heaven. Uh, he's leaving the area. But anyway, he get, gave me his final love gift was bring this and this over here from my cottage. I live across the street, and uh, so they brought this here so now I can see. And I just started writing up because I've had all this mail from people that didn't, why haven't we heard from you, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm just writing up now what happened the day after Christmas I collapsed. And uh, you were in a lot had of emergency. Pain? No, well, yeah, I woke up at 5 o'clock in the morning with an excruciating pain in my belly, mm -hmm. which resulted in emergency surgery that evening. And they took out that much of my intestines. Really? Oh, blockage, yeah. So, uh, I've been recovering ever since. I've come a long way. Yeah. They saved my life three times. I was out of it. Really? Heart did, did funny things. And I was in, in, te in the, after surgery that Monday night. Wednesday night, I don't know. Uh, I was in intensive care. Ten days. They never keep people in intensive care ten days. Mm -hmm. And then last Friday, I was going to go to another part of the hospital for rehab. Twenty after two in the afternoon, they said, "Get ready. There's an ambulance outside waiting in ten minutes. And I'd be ready with all my stuff to come here." Oh. And I really wasn't ready to come here, but here I am. So this is part of the. Frankie, you know, campus yeah, where I live. Yeah. So it's great for my neighbors because they can just come here, you know, instead of going to the house. Say hospital. hello, yeah. yeah. What are you doing? Taping me? <laughs> We're going global. We're going YouTube. <laughs> How much longer will you be here before you can go home? No idea. I get rehab every morning to work the heck out of me. Oh. 